Welcome to the 15,000 health death run made by Micah, where you guessed it, we have 15,000 health in this no checkpoint death run. So the rules are very simple. The minimap has to be turned off and you have to collect every single coin throughout the levels, otherwise you do not win, which adds a bit of extra challenge to the death run along with there being no checkpoints. So if you die on level nine, you have to come back to level one and replay the entire map which can get really annoying, but it's also very satisfying when you finally beat the map. So this one was made by Micah. There is their channel and there is their code. And that's all we have. You guys know the deal. So without further ado, let's jump into it. Okay, off the bat on level one, I can already hear the coin under us. So I'm guessing if we go over here. Yep, there's the coin. It's surrounded by a lot of traps, though. Okay, So I don't think the shockwave has anything to do with us getting the coin. But if we can make our way out here, we can get it. Okay, well, that's not exactly what I wanted to do, but I've never been known for my grace. So we have the coin, but now where do we go? Well, that was incredibly lucky, incredibly random, and I will gladly take it. Okay, on to level two. Now, before we keep going, I want you guys to comment down right now, how many attempts do you think it'll take me to finally beat this map? I wanna see how much faith you guys have in me, and also the comments are great for the YouTube algorithm. So leave them down below, and let's move on. We have two impulses and a room full of different kinds of traps. Okay, so we have poison traps right here. The coins to our right, so... Let's fake these out. Go. Get over to the coin. I, if I can take no actual health health damage, that'd be great. Well, that's not happening, I guess. Oh, there's a new animation for losing health. That's really cool. Oh my, this is really, really, really hard. Okay, we're good. We're good. Sit right there for the poisons. Oh, goodness. Okay. Oh, how are we supposed to do this? Okay. Oh my, what is happening, dude? There's a ceiling area. Okay, where we go? Where we go? Where we go? Let me up. I'm pretty sure I took too many impulses off the start and I don't want to be cheating, so I'm gonna go back to them, which is gonna make me take so much extra health. Okay, that was insane. I just lost so much health, it's not even funny. Okay, so we have two impulses. I think the, the jump right there is a max distance, one impulse jump up. So we have to do it with just one and then save the other one for the actual way home. So let's try this out one more time. It's gonna be a little bit easier now that we're going straight through the middle here. One, two, jump! <sighs> okay. Yes, okay! We made it, and now all we have to do is impulse directly onto that platform right there. And you fail! Oh my goodness, dude. I was holding S to make sure I hit the platform closer to me, and I think if I just held W, I would have made it to the actual end. <sighs> okay, there we go. One more jump and we're on level three. We have absolutely no shield left for our health. So we're purely in the green. Oh my goodness, there we go, okay. Level three, we have what appears to be a maze. Why is it always a maze? Let's just do it. Was the right, oh wait, there's the coin. So we know we have that going for us. I'm already taking more damage here. I will figure it out. I will figure this out. That's not the way, oh my goodness. Maybe we go right where the beginning was. That could have been the way. Like right down here. Oh, well, it's definitely not the way. What if we try taking the left approach? Nope, that goes absolutely nowhere. Maybe right here? Nope, that's not it either. Come on, Justin, find it. Come on, come on, take a left right here. This is definitely the way. De nope, definitely not the way. Oh my goodness, it's pure luck, pure RNG, guys. No, we have to make a jump right there too. We are under 4,500 health and we're only on level three. This is going to be so incredibly tough, but at least now we know the general direction of where to go. And then we have to jump right here. Oh my goodness, okay. Level four, if you're having trouble with Neos, use the bouncer to get on top of the wall and quad jump across. I think we should be fine with the Neos. We're usually pretty good at them, so Let's hope they don't fail us now. Although these are some incredibly odd walls to Neo jump on. And that's why these walls stick out a tiny bit, which makes Neos so much harder. There we go. Got the coin. Okay, we have two impulses now. Where? We're going over there, okay. Do we have to impulse wall climb or just make it there? 
I think we have the impulse wall climb, but that also doesn't work. Oh my goodness, I'm bad. You know what? That works for me. That definitely works for me. All right, I think we go through. We don't go through. So I have to make it with one impulse to here and then one more impulse to over there. Or I could potentially just go to the middle of the traps and then impulse up to get into that area, which I'm guessing is level five. Okay, so it is definitely possible to do that. Oh my goodness, okay. With 1,030 health left, we're halfway done. There is no way we're gonna be able to beat it in this go. But if you guys are watching and have not done so yet, definitely drop a like and subscribe. Apparently like 75% of the people that watch my content are not actually subscribed. So click that button, ring that bell. I'd appreciate it, it is free. And without further ado, let's keep it going. Seems to be a lot of pretty easy, easy traps right here. I say as I get destroyed. It's those zapper traps that are the problem. Wait, there's two coins? Oh, the other place was if you fall. Okay, I got it. I got it. Go, 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 Justin, go. Okay, we're good. Get that bottom trap. One more. And we are on to level six. What? That must have been in the new update. Oh my goodness. That's the biggest troll ever. We have 100 health left. Anything that hits us will kill us. Oh my goodness. Come on. And then we jump to level six and we're gonna have 20 health remaining. There's no way, there is no physical way that we can do this from here on out. Oh my goodness. I, I feel like there's gonna be a lot of those trap holes right here. So I'm gonna just jump. Yep, and... Okay, so it does spawn us back here at the beginning, but it spawns us with full health and we already have the coins from the prior levels. So I think the most fair thing to do would be to just end the game and then re-get every single coin and get back to the point where we're at and then try and beat it from there. Is that fair? I think so. <laughs> I fell for it again. Okay, we're back on level six, almost 10,000 health remaining. And for this one, I didn't really see which of these were gonna fall on me. So it looks like this, yep, that one's going to. We can kind of fake it out like we can with uh, traps, which is really cool. So that one, we're good. We have the coin for level six, which is also good. Any more? Maybe the last one? No, nope, okay. Level seven, that was actually quite easy. I'm very happy with that. So for this one, we have a lot of bouncers to work with here. So I'm guessing we have to hit that, that, and grab the coin? Wow, that was incredibly easy. If the rest of them can be like that, then I'll be a happy camper. Oh, by the way, I'm, I'm on my fourth try for doing this because I kept forgetting coins and then I kept dying going back to get said coins. So uh, if you guys did comment down how long or how many attempts it would take me, I'm currently on attempt number four. Not my proudest moment, but we're not doing too bad, I suppose. It could be a lot worse. There's the coin for level eight. I keep wanting to say, eventually, uh, we're gonna have to go through a trap to get to the end. But so far, nothing really too crazy has been happening. So let's see if we can do this with one impulse right here. Oh, easily, easily. And here's the coin. So we can make it right over to that bad boy right there. These are actually some pretty simple jumps right here. <laughs> of course, until the end. Focus, 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 focus. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, we did not lose that much health. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I thought we would lose so much more getting pushed back to right there. But that was that was not bad in any way, shape, or form. Yes, there we go. Level 10 on the very last level of the 15,000 health death run. It looks to be some pretty simple jumps, but if you fall, you have to trap tunnel your way back to this bouncer. Focus up. Let's do it. Okay, now what? No, no way. Is that really the end? Let's go, dude, GG. Thanks to any YouTuber that plays my maps, I got you, my man. Use code IRMICA and he will get money and sub to MICA, linked down below. We have some stretched TTV llamas right here. What in the world? I cannot believe that those were the last couple of levels. Like level two, three, and four were pretty difficult. Level four with the Neos, that was a really, really, really tough level for me personally. And then it just got exponentially easier as we progressed through this death run. 
But there we go, guys. That is the 15,000 health death run. Let's collect the last coin. Get out of here. GG, baby. How many times did we die overall? We died zero times because it's a no checkpoint death run. I am not the smartest person. Guys, if you enjoyed this video, definitely drop a like, subscribe, and of course, share this video around. I'd highly appreciate that. We did beat it on the fourth try, so if you did comment down fourth, then guess what? You were right, and you can predict the future, which is pretty impressive, I would say. Uh, but yeah, other than that, I will talk to you all later. Have a nice day, guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Deep dab, and peace out.